Hi, Basil. All right, let's get you your water. Okay, so today's story is all about a piece of sandpaper. And this piece of sandpaper was sitting on a table and it was about to be used to sand down a piece of wood that was going to be made into a toy. Well, the woodworker, whose name was Chip, picked up the sandpaper and started to apply it to the wood. And slowly and slowly and slowly, it got smoother and smoother. Just when he started using up all the last bit of the sandpaper, he was about to throw it away when he looked at the sandpaper. Well, because he was going so quickly, he didn't realize that there was a little spot that he hadn't used at all. Well, I'll just use this last little spot before I throw this piece out. He folded it just right and got it just on there and started sanding and then he heard something. This, huh? This is a, huh? This is a nice toy. Well, Chip was shocked. How can the sandpaper make a sound like that? It must be my imagination, he said. So he tried it slowly. This is a good toy. Well, Chip was shocked. So he told everybody, hey guys, guys, check this out, look at this. And he kept using it and it would make a sound. And everybody thought it was amazing. They would get out their cell phones and start taping him why he did it. This is a great toy. Before too long, unfortunately, that sandpaper was just about done and he could only have a small whisper. This toy is nice. And with that, the sandpaper made no more sounds. Well, Chip was a little disappointed. All of his friends were disappointed too. In fact, the whole world was disappointed because he had made like a video channel for it and everything, but that was that. No more sounds. So Chip took the last of the sandpaper and put it in the trash. Well, the next day, Chip went out to go make another toy when what do you know, there was a brand new sheet of sandpaper. <gasps> I don't remember putting this here. It must be something. And he picked it up and sanded it. And when he used it on the wood, it went Well, he was wondering what would happen if he sanded a new toy? Would it at the very end make another sound like it did last time? He did. He made a toy quickly, a little boat, and he started sanding it. And he sanded and he sanded. And he got to the last little square and he used it. This is a nice toy. Yes, he said. And every day since then, he would take very good care of the sandpaper because every day a new piece would come. Well, Chip never found out why it happened or who was doing it, but it made everyone happy. The end. So it just goes to show you, Basil, that sometimes you might not know the answers and that's okay. All right, good night. Bye. Woo.